Welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. I literally have done so many side quests, it's not even funny. And but I had to stop because I would do one side quest, turn it in, and then they would have another side quest to give me, and I just I just couldn't I just couldn't deal with it. <laughs> so I stopped. Can I refuel with the car not? Dang. I thought I would just like warp the car over here. That's fine, I think I have half a tank. But yeah, I had to stop side questing. My previous save, I was at level 26, and now I'm at 31. And if that gives you a better idea of how much side questing I've done, it's just way, it's way too many. I finally found where the diner was, though. So I'm going to do this um, yep. mm -hmm. bounty hunt thing for these saber claws. And then we're going to get straight into the side mission. I mean, not the side mission, the main mission. And if there are any side quests I can drop off along the way, then I'll do those. But if not, I'm not going to worry about it for recording purposes. Because there's literally so many of them. So much so, look, look at this. We have this one, this one, that one, that one, this one, this one, and we're about to go do this one. And all of these are just for, like, upgrading my stuff. And that's the main mission. So literally, like, no, I, I can't. I can't even begin to even. It's just literally so many, and I don't understand why. <laughs> it's great for experience points, though, but and as far as recordings go, I don't want to record them because there's just so many. And this entire playthrough could literally be 50 plus parts of just side questing, and you would never even get to the main mission. So gonna focus on the main missions for now unless a side quest seems like it'd be worth putting on camera but until then definitely main missions but while I was doing side quests I had stayed at this outpost and Prompto had a lovely conversation with me where he pretty much told me that he was feeling worthless because he wasn't royalty and I told him that he's like one of my favorite people and made him feel better about his life so now he's feeling fine he's cool he's okay what, what does he have to say now hold on a sec I remember reading about this place on that wanted poster you guys up for a little bounty hunting Oh yeah, bring it on. Oh, it has already been brought The Brian. hell's got into you two? Why did we stop? It's all the way over there. Why did you? Why did he park all the way down here? And I forgot to rent another chocobo, so now we have to run it. Cause I don't feel like having him drive all the way down there, cause he's not gonna. Nope, nope, nope. Hostiles on your right. Nope, no Thanks. hostiles. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. I almost died fighting this level 32 gorilla thing. That wasn't any fun at all. I didn't, though. I managed to fight and kill an iron giant at nighttime because I didn't feel like waiting for the daytime. I didn't feel like dealing with the load screen, so I just dealt with the nighttime. And it was only one of them, so I wasn't too worried about it. But, oh no, there's an item. Hold on, wait. Go out, go out, go out. I wanted the item! Jeez. Okay, these, these saber claws are rude. And I can't see a single thing. Let's go. Wow! That point warp was pathetic. Is anyone gonna talk about the fact that I'm getting swarmed over here and they're all just kind of sitting over there in the corner? That's crossing the line. Sorry. Like I don't appreciate them just letting me like get maimed, but it's fine. I feel like. Oh, hold on, wait a second. I need to put. I had him on uh, Dawn Hammer for the one guy, but I never changed it back. I actually enjoy the Mark move, it's pretty cool. And we're gonna give him 
machinery, this thing. And we're gonna run away. We're gonna have him do his little sweet move. Okay. Like, I don't know why he decides to do it 10,000 years away. Sometimes I wonder how this whole, like, fighting system works. Because I can literally kill, like, level 20 monsters with no issue. A swarm of these and I'm dead. It's not a good time. It's not a good time at all. What did you expect? I didn't, didn't warp strike. You just a warp strike. But anyway, these things are level 12 and they're not dying at all. It's like they're just kind of there. Okay. And then an area of effect is just, just extremely wild. Wow. No, I'm not holding up actually. I'm getting destroyed. For no reason. Besides the fact that these guys are rude. There we go, that was what I was trying to do earlier. I just wanna- I just feel like- I just wish I could see. But it seems like that's not how this is gonna work out. Are you sick? Sometimes these battles are just... Like, why are you guys so extra? Like, leave me alone. Nowhere. I'm just trying to. On top of it. I need to be like focusing on one person and then like the other one will just come out of nowhere and you can't really block it because it's out of nowhere. I'm dying of thirst here. I'm starving to death. And yet we're all very much alive. Right, like calm down. Let's return to the car. Oh no. That's awkward. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I. I did, um, okay, I thought I did return to the last spot I rested at, and that would not have been a good time. Okay, is there anything up here that's worth me getting? I don't, I don't think there is. I think it's just me, myself, and I up here in this corner, which is fine. Okay, so as promised, we're gonna make the lovely trek to the sword and the waterfall. That's gonna take 10,000 years. Everything in order. I probably should have yeah. manualed it because there's a treasure on the way there that might be good to get. I don't know what it is, but it might be a nice thing to acquire. But I'll probably get it later because I don't feel like dealing with it. What else did I do for side quests? I saved a few chocobos. That was a good time. Couldn't go wrong with that. Um, haven't really come across any of the Magitech people. Mm, what else happened? Really, there were just so many side quests. Like, I can't. I tried to find. Oh, I had to look for the more frogs. That was annoying. But I learned that when you're near a frog, it starts to croak. So literally, I was just like walking around listening for like a frog to croak. So that took way less time than the first one, like the red frogs did. Uh, I've been practicing my fishing. I think my fishing level was now like three or four. Fishing is actually pretty easy. Like once you figure out like the proper way to do everything, it's like a, a walk in the park. Um, uh, hmm. What else kind of side quests did I do? Hmm. For the life of me, I can't seem to remember anything I've done. Oh, dog tag. I did a little dog tag thing. Um. Oh, I fought Ignis, some more. So, I fought some more, um. Demons. Aside from the Iron Giant. They were, so like, fast moving, like, weird goblin things. And I would go to Warp Strike. 
and I would be targeting it because he'd be right by. Like I'd target them, and they would just disappear. And I was like, "What is this? Like, why is this happening? I did not ask for this." And I was so annoyed. And then I fought some weird tentacle demon things that would literally suck onto your body, and you'd be trapped in there. And that was not a good time. And then one of them like took over. Gladio's body and yeah. like he hit mm -hmm. me with his great sword and practically killed me and I was like what since when is friendly fire a thing I was so upset I have never been so upset in my entire life let me tell you but it's fine we survived we did it and you know now we're level 31 we've gone up five levels of all those side quests I also have like 26,000 gil now I might be a little bit less because I bought some stuff. But yeah, I have 26,000 gil. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I have that much gil, which is great. I found a shield for Gladio, so, you know, if I want him to protect me, he can protect me with one of the ascension skills. I, I have the skill to hold jump in front of somebody. Oh, had to yawn, sorry. Where he will jump in front of an enemy with the shield to protect me like a knight in shining armor. Which is great. I appreciate you, Gladio. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know how effective it is. I kind of like just... I like DPS style, like the most damage per second, and going from there. I haven't used that much magic. I usually save the magic for um, the robot, not the robotic, the soldier people, because they seem to be really weak to electricity. But I do have a thun... thun Daga spell, like ready to go. I have a fire uh, spell ready to go. I haven't been able to make a blizzard one yet, not because I don't have the um, element C4, I just haven't gotten around to it. I'll get there eventually. But some of these monsters, man, they're just so irritating for no reason. And then, okay, the worst part about these side quests was probably the driving like driving back and forth was just it's oh my god it's so frustrating for absolutely no reason because like sometimes ignis can fast travel like fast travel there and it's fine but if it's on a fast travel location you'll literally just be driving around for years but recently i did learn that you can fast travel to any parking spot so I think from now on I'm gonna fast travel to a parking spot nearby like the quest I need to go to and then just run or drive the rest of the way instead of driving the entire way there. I'm kinda mad I'm just not finding that out but it's okay. You know life's about learning new things and making mistakes and just improving upon it the next time you do it. We're almost at the cave. We're so close. Look at that bar. Just look at it. It's ready to be completed, and I'm gonna be so excited. Unless something happens. I need to change my decal on the hammerhead. I mean, not the hammerhead, on the regalia. It's been on the hammerhead for a while, but I think it's time for a change. So I think when I turn in that mission for Taka, for stopping here. Oh, okay. So I guess we would have gotten gas here. Hey, who's up for a bite? No one's up for a bite, okay? You're not getting food. Maybe I should get them food. They haven't eaten in a while. But anyway, the next there isn't no place I can get food from. Let's hit up the shop. Sounds reasonable enough. No, we're not gonna hit up the shop. I there's I wanted to find you guys food, but that doesn't seem to be a thing. Are you joining us? Well, I guess I'll get food then since we're here. Not food, but uh, I'll buy some more potions, I guess. But anyway, I'll probably change the decals on him once I um get to back to Hammerhead. Look at all this potion stuff I have. Like, I'm proud. I don't need any of this. I don't need any of this auto part stuff. What is this? Iron Shelf Recipes? We'll buy it for, uh, what's his face? Thank you. Because I love Ignis. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. 
the way he said his recipe just really just grinds my gears recipe like what <laughs> like dude that's not how that works do i seriously have to stop oh i don't have it oh yes i can get a chocobo here great because that run does not look like it would be a good time rent it for we're gonna rent seven days the max i can rent one for that's fine come back come why are you running away from me, friend? Let's go. Jeez. My chocobo is also level four now. It was three, but now it's four. Make but tracks. that was recently. On my way. Can I get down there from here? Hmm. Are there stairs on that side? Like I'm trying to figure out the best. Maybe there's like stairs on this side. I'm trying to figure out the best way to get over there appropriately oh, nice here indeed behind the wall okay so doesn't seem to be any stairs here so we're gonna go back over there and then hopefully we can get to the waterfall from here I don't know but we're gonna get to these stairs and in the next part we're gonna see if we can or cannot find this waterfall or a cave behind the waterfall Man, so like and subscribe leave a comment bad. down below follow me on twitter and remember stay lit uh -huh.